Howdy everybody, my name is Joey, and this is my first attempt at a Let's Play. I have no idea what I'm doing, and that will probably be very evident. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to give it a try. Uh, so this is Dusk. Um, I'll try to keep the intro short, but basically this is kind of like, it's a modern first person shooter. It came out maybe two, three years ago. I know it kind of came out in stages. There were um, like parts of it came out, and then a bit later more of it came out, and then the official release I think was maybe like a couple years ago. Uh, but it's very much based around like 90s uh, classic first person shooters, like the original Doom, Quake, uh, Duke Nukem 3D, um, which is not something that I'm super well versed in. I have played a couple of the older Doom games, and I really enjoy them. Uh, but yeah, I'm not an expert at this genre, or really any genre at all. I'm just playing it because it's fun. I've played a bit of it. Uh, I've gotten a bit of the way through the game, but most of the game I have not played yet, so a lot of this is probably going to be pretty much blind on my end. Um, but yeah, I feel like this game is a little bit not talked about quite as much as it should be, because uh, I, I think it's really good so far. Uh, not a ton of people are talking about it, but those people who are talking about it have really good things to say. Uh, they're like, oh, this is my favorite shooter, this is my favorite shooter uh, designed to be kind of retro like this, this is my favorite modern shooter, etc. It kind of has like a cult following, which is fitting because uh, in this game's narrative you fight cult members. So, um, I'm just going to start a new game, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm going to do the medium difficulty, because I'm a scrub. Yeah, and I think, I think, yeah, I think the game was just done by one guy, and then the music was done by one guy. I don't know. There might have been more people on the team. But, yeah, those names that just flashed by, those are the people that are responsible. Kill the intruder. Uh, so, yeah, as you can see, it's almost a little, like, horror. Well, it's definitely horror-influenced by, like, a lot of games from the era, or at least, like, Doom. And I'm gonna try the hardest to look like I know what I'm doing this game. Um, even though I really don't. I'm not, like, I love video games. I'm super, super passionate about them. I've played them most of my life. But I'm not, I'm not particularly good at them. And I'll probably say that more than once. I'm not great at video games, but I like playing them. And maybe this will be enjoyable to watch, I don't know. So there's little secrets, much like uh, Doom. I have not found all the secrets on this level yet, but I found some of them. Uh, so that was one where I knew you can get a handgun. I like that the gas canisters, you can throw them and they, and they blow up. That's pretty cool. Um, also, apparently you can shoot the grass. I don't know. So yeah, we're in this really creepy wood stand dungeon thing. Um, so yeah, very, very horror. A horror feel, feel, and I love horror movies. So I'm all about it. I don't think it's quite actually a horror game, though. It's, it's a shooter first and foremost. But yes, much like old Doom games, there's no reloading, but you can spin your weapons around, which looks kind of cool, I guess. Okay, there's another secret over here if we can shoot that out. And apparently, like gems and gold improve you, what the game calls your morale, which is sort of like your armor. Hold on, wait a second. Oh, never mind. There's a secret over here somewhere. I forgot where it was. Gosh. I don't know. There's a secret somewhere where you can like walk through a wall that I found very unexpectedly. Wait a second, wait a second. Hold on. I think it's... Oh, it's over here, yeah. You can see how the texture is kind of weird there for the wall. I kind of found this by accident. I was like trying to throw a, a block at the wall and it, it just flew through. And we can get the, sh the super shotgun down here, which is a lot earlier than you're supposed to get it because I believe you get it on like the third or fourth level. I'm not super far into this game yet, but yeah. It's got a super shotgun, much like Doom, which is just really fun. I don't know, I really like shotguns in video games. I tend to 
be biased towards them. I just think they're really cool. Um, but yeah, like I was saying before, the morale uh, is kind of like your armor, I would say. Like, I don't know, you could almost think of it as like a second life bar, but kind of like in doing with the armor, it just like reduces uh, your damage and stuff like that. I don't know. But I think it's kind of funny how your morale is improved by like finding like money and gems. Like, that's kind of accurate. I guess you'd probably feel a little bit better about this situation waking up in this creepy basement if you, like, found money. I don't know, it's just very, like, capitalist America, I guess, but it's pretty great. Also, it's very weird in here, these, you can sleep? Like, I don't know, if I woke up and there's, like, a, there's, like, a cult member over here, like, right over here, I, this is the last place that I would want to go to sleep, but you can just sleep. I didn't even need to do that because I already have 100 morale, but, you know, something. Something below is calling us. Um, so yeah, that's kind of creepy, I guess. We can drink beer. Not that I would drink beer. I mean, I'm a, I'm a good Christian boy, but uh, we can quaff beer, actually. Specifically quaff beer. I like that detail. That's, that's kind of funny to me. Um, oh, there we go. So it's kind of like a Texas Chainsaw thing. But yeah, they're like... Uh, it's very creepy. They've got like really creepy voices and they say heretic and non-believer. Which is... I don't know. Like a lot of old shooters, I don't think this game is going for much story. It's kind of... Gameplay is... Gameplay is what is emphasized over story. Which is totally fine as far as I'm concerned, but I do think the setting is pretty cool. You're just in this like really grimy, dirty house, and then on like the next level you're on a farm, and it just it feels very like rural and spooky. Um, we're gonna go out over here. Ooh. Okay. Um. Sorry, I'm still working on talking and. Not dying at the same time. <laughs> okay, yeah, so this is where we were before. Um, over this way is where we're gonna end the. Wait, no, it's not. Oh, never mind. Oh, no, okay, I remember now. Sorry, I forgot how this level works out. You can go down here and press this little switch, and then it like opens. And then. I still don't know what the deal is over here. We can crouch through here and like go down in here, but it just seems to be a dead end. And I haven't figured out like what the deal is here. Like, I've tried to shoot the walls. I don't. I don't really know what. Like that's got to be some kind of a secret. It's just weird that that is a dead end. But I. I don't know. I'm gonna move on for the sake of the video, even though I am typically very like very OCD and very meticulous about like finding secrets in games, um, but yeah, for the sake of the video, I'm gonna try to like, not like, be a perfectionist, okay, yeah, that was not so good, that was not so good, yeah, I'm gonna try to like, not backtrack a ton and like try to find all the secrets, because that's what I typically would do, um, but yeah, I'm just gonna try to play it chill. Oh, I can't get any more. Okay. So this is gonna open... Whoa, no, I already hit it. Never mind. It's gonna open this door. Kill him. What if you... What if I kill you? I like how you can throw these up and then, like... Oh, never, never mind. You can, like, throw them up and then, like, keep shooting them and it sort of, like, juggles it in the air. It's kind of cool. Ooh, hello. Should I jump out there? Okay. Never mind. Everything is going according to the plan. Yeah, so this is the area where we just were. I'm sorry, I'm going through this level like really 
it's like really confusing and all over the place. I'm not being very consistent. Um, also, I don't... I think I haven't found everything by any means. I think I've found enough. Isn't that so cool when you shoot the shotgun, he like flips it around. He does like the cool like um, flip like cock motion, like you cock the gun by whirling it around. That's like some from a Western movie. That's pretty cool. Okay, we can crouch and we can slide. And then yeah, I'm, oh shoot, sorry. Okay, so I got, well, ah, I'm actually very close. I got five out of six secrets. And I, I would bet money that one of the one, the one I missed had something to do with that weird tunnel thing. But I killed all the enemies. I don't know if I've actually done that in the past. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and try for a second. Well, actually, no, I'll, I'll cut this one. I'll cut this episode short since this is my first one and I don't really know what I'm doing. Uh, we'll cut this episode short here, and I'm probably going to continue playing this in the future. Uh, thanks, guys. Catch you later.